This is instant action, full to gap point alpha, blind buffalo. It is nighttime, you are a reinforced C-55A platoon. Recon troops are reporting an enemy tank company is advancing to our front and will likely attack us in the next few minutes. The enemy is 6 to 10 M60A3s and 2 to 5 M113s. Friendly is 5 times T55A and 2 times BRDM2. And then on blue side, it is nighttime with a full moon. You are a reduced M60A3 company team. There's an enemy strong point to your front down the alley and you are ordered to attack it. There's approximately 2 to 4 T55As and 8 M60A3s and 2 M13s. So basically, we can gather 8, 2, and 5, and 2. So first I'll play as the red side. Okay, so let's get that spotlight up so we can actually see some things. And then you look left a little bit. And we're gonna wait for the enemy M60s to crest their hill. So I have crest our hill. Make sure we lay our targets. And there's gonna be three on the right, which is these three. Hopefully they can't hit me. And we just gotta make sure we kill them as quickly as possible. There we go. There's gonna be five other M60s to the left. I can't believe I hit that. Uh, did I? Yep, he's dead. There's gonna be five other M60s to the left. Uh, so we, we all spawn in here, all the reds spawns in here. One, two, three, five spawns in over there. And all the blue four spawns in in this area. So three over here, and then the rest over here. Which gets pretty hectic. So I'm gonna wait for those guys to spawn, or to go over the hill. Let me, uh, actually, I don't really want to talk about restocking right now. Oh. That is an M60 right there. Did not hit him. There we go. Okay, now... That is... okay. He's dead. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, let's swap. Swap to another T-55. Let's get you. Now, where... This is when it's pretty chaotic because I cannot see that well. That's a friendly. I think they have gone past us. Yep, they've gone past us, so this sucks. Let's make sure we kill them. Because we do not want them to get for far. Oh, and we got them. Holy crap. Oh, that was so lucky. Okay, so we do not want the NATO or blue four or whatever to get in this kind of area because then they'll win. That's, it's like kind of a, uh, a checkpoint that they have to reach and you have to make sure that nothing gets past you. Like absolutely nothing can get past you without seeing that you cannot kill because if they do, then they will win. I mean, this guy was pretty damn close. So I'm curious, actually, I'm going to turn on I'm going to turn on thermals so we can see that's what is going on here. Is that guy still alive? I don't know. So this one seems to just be disabled. Uh, that was definitely dead. That one's uh, dead M60. Dead M60. Dead M60. So there's one BRDM. There's one TF5. I cannot. Oh, there he is. There is the T55 on the side, so you can see his position on everything. It's a good vantage point, but I found that sometimes when I swap to it, the M60s just instantly tracked me and kill me. So M60 there, M60 there, 
uh, and they got past. So I think that's that is a very jittery M60 right there that is dead. But you can just see, even though we won, just how far the NATO forces were able to push. I mean, I think that's there's a T55 alive there. This one, I think, is alive. That's the one I just got out of. This BRDM is alive. This BRDM is alive, and this C55 is alive. So the reason we won was because somehow the Red Forces were able to survive long enough that the M6s were not able to kill them. But this is like literally out of five, at least five or half a dozen tries just today, this is the first time I have won on the red side. It is very hard. But either way, going to the blue side now, this is going to be a breeze. It's going to be a walk in the park. So, let's turn on those thermals. And you can see we're all spawning in right over here. Uh, can't really see that well with the night vision of the commander. So I'm just going to stay in these laggy thermals. Wow, my friends have dropped. I'm going to crest this hill with complete confidence. He's right there. That is a T-55, I think. Now, scanning this area, my thermals are really having trouble to adjust. There's a T-55 that just shot in the air, I think. <coughs> uh, there is something. Let's kill him. So the T-55s are shy. I mean, with good reason. They're not gonna... They don't really like to crest the hill that much compared to NATO. We really just gotta be worried about this one out here. You know, the one to the side. Get ready to look over at him. But for the most part, we can just kind of waltz right through. That... Yeah, that T-55 is looking in the air. Uh, that is its barrel sticking out. And that's just kind of a summary of how the experience of playing on the red side on this map. So I'm going to look to my right. So we should be able to see... Should be able to see that guy any moment now, because... Yeah, he's right over here. So let's see if we can... Peek over this hill. Oh! There he is. There we go. That is a good hit. So, you can uh, smack a T-55 right in the face with an M60. I'm using the Sable right now, so that obviously helps. But if you aim in the right place, you can just go right through the front. Uh, turret <laughs> like is this guy dead i think he's dead uh cap this one now dead <laughs> they're all just looking up i mean come on now there's another tank that's actually not looking in the sky but not doing anything i mean <laughs> Okay, so something's still alive. Oh, you. Hello there. Let's stop to the 50 cal for this guy. So he should be very much dead now. Uh, is this guy? Oh, okay. There we go. And that's all of the enemy wars is dead. So I'll be honest, that one was kind of just sad. Uh... You know, the and the AI clearly was not working on point there. But even if it was, I mean, you can just stroll right through the middle of the field. So you can see where we spawn in. Right over here, there is three tanks, two tanks, and the other three. 
and then over here there's one t55 two the other two and then the one right there but it's not just the fact that they were not working so that made this game really easy it's the fact that I was lucky the first time that this did not happen to my team because the uh, enemies looking or the um the red the the T55 is looking in the sky that's that's something that happened a lot of the time or the, a lot of the previous games I lost on the red side the T55 is just kind of staring in the sky didn't do anything and that's what caused or that's what helped lose but that's what I mean on this one why it's kind of why it just sucks because you want to have a good amount of luck so that your the ai on your team doesn't just look in the sky like they did and also look at the enemy and shoot the enemy like they did in the first game thankfully it did and it played out pretty well but even if this team even if the ai was actually active the m60s are able to take care of no problem i mean you saw i could go right through the front of the turret even when they were hold down, it was really no problem if I just aimed. The superior just in general tank that the M60 is to the T55, especially in this scenario, is just such a, an advantage and you get three more tanks. So if you're doing something completionist, you're completing every game and you don't have to complete the red side, then just go with the blue side and not want to die. But that is it for this level. The other ones, not as bad as this one. This is this one is pretty bad.